Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna compare these mesh Wi-Fi 6E systems to each other, starting with the Netgear Orbi RBKE 963, which comes in a three pack. However, it's actually on right now. So this one's not plugged in, but the satellite is plugged in and the router is a few rooms away, also plugged in. And I'm going to do a live demo test. That's the reason why I left it on. And after the test, I'll unplug it so I can show you guys the differences and stuff because that comes with a router and two satellites. So this is my Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is a Wi-Fi 6E compatible system. So it operates on the new 6 GHz band, which is much faster than the 5 GHz band or the 2.4 that you typically see. Now, it has to be a Wi-Fi 6E compatible system to work on the 6 GHz band, but it's crazy fast. As you guys can see, the, this is actually faster than gigabit speeds on Wi-Fi. Now this is a local area speed test, so my phone is going to the satellite in this case which is going to my unmanaged switch, then to my computer for this local area speed test. And we'll get into all of those numbers, so speed test, wired, wireless backhaul, range test, everything. But as you guys can see, I got 1600 down and 1768 up. This is the perfect demonstration to show you guys that on a phone, we can actually get faster than gigabit speeds, which is ridiculous. Now that we're back with all three Orbeez, I did want to say thanks to Netgear for sponsoring this video. But just as a heads up, I actually bought both of these mesh systems myself with my own money a few months back. And I reviewed them individually. I'll put those links in the description below. And while you're down there, smash that subscribe button. Let's continue with the specs. Starting with the Orbeez router, we have a 10 gigabit internet port or WAN port, that means this thing can handle internet speeds of up to 10 gigabits, which is pretty amazing. My internet speeds are less than gigabit, so this is more than enough for me. Then we have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, which can be used for wired backhaul, so this is what I use to have a faster local area network, followed by three other gigabit ports, a reset switch, a power, and a sync button. Now, the Orbi comes with a router plus two satellites. Now, the satellites have exactly the same ports, so we'll just go over one of the satellites. So we have that same sync button. We have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, three other gigabit ports, a power, and a reset switch. Followed by the Eero, this is a much more simple case. Now, both Eeros can act as a router, However, in the same network, only one of them does. And exactly the same thing for both. We have a single 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, a USB-C power supply, and a gigabit port. These are auto sensing ports. Looking at the power adapters, we have the Netgears on the left and the Eros on the right. So the Netgears is larger. It does output more power at 60 watts compared to the Eros at 27 watts. and But I kind of like the design of this as well because it does free up, if you're plugging this in, it does free up the other socket, which is kind of nice. And you have this standard power plug. And this is not 240 volts compatible. The Eros is a USB-C, which I really like, that the fact that they use that common standard. And this is 100 to 240 volts. Each Orbi covers up to 3,000 square feet, so a combo of three will give you up to 9,000 square feet of coverage. That's honestly an absurd amount. So if you live in a home bigger than that, or that size, or even close to that, then props to you. Whereas with the Eero, you get up to 2,000 square feet of coverage, so a combo of three would give you up to 6,000 square feet of coverage. So one nice thing about the Eero here is that you can actually buy it as a one pack, two pack, or a three pack, Whereas with the neck gear, it only starts, it starts at a three pack. So it would be really nice if they offered this as a two pack or even as a one, like a router by itself and a satellite by itself. So that's one thing I would suggest. So the Orbi is the first and only, at least as of now, at the time of this video, quad band mesh system, which means it has a 2.4 gigahertz, two five gigahertz bands, and a six gigahertz band. So what does that mean? Translation, that means you're gonna get really good wireless backhaul speeds because you have a five gigahertz dedicated backhaul and you have three open, so 2.45 and a six gigahertz band open for all your Wi-Fi traffic. So not only are you gonna have really good wireless backhaul speeds, 
this thing can also handle a whole bunch of devices because it has more open lanes essentially for Wi-Fi compared to the Eero which is a tri-band system and really compared to any other mesh system because you're going to be sharing them because it has one less band. It's kind of the same thing when I compare a tri-band versus a dual band system. The quad band also helps to increase its speed rating to AXC 11,000 versus the Eero's AXC 5400. But the Eero has a smart home hub built in, both Zigbee and Thread. So some smart home devices require Zigbee. And if you get smart home devices that require that and you have a hub, you can actually replace your hub with the Eero, which is kind of nice. The Orbi does not include that. And both of these have parental controls, but both of these require a subscription to pay for that. So that's one thing I would suggest both companies to include the subscription for free. Jumping into the speed test, I used my iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is my Wi-Fi 6 device, and I used the combo of my Pixel 6 Pro and Galaxy S22 Ultra. Honestly, the numbers between these are so similar that they're interchangeable. So, starting with the internet speed test, no matter how fast any mesh system is, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speed. So in my case, that would be 940 megabits per second download and 880 megabits per second upload. And notice I said megabits per second, not megabytes per second, because one byte is equal to eight bits. So that's something I say in every video, but I have to say it to be specific. Okay, so looking at the speeds, we could see that they're both fairly similar to each other. However, on the downloads, especially for the Wi-Fi 6E, the Orbi did do better. Now to truly find out the capabilities of each mesh system, we have to do a local speed test server, which I demoed early on in the video, where I go from phone to router to computer. So this helps isolate the router and gets rid of the public speed test server and my internet, which can vary at times. So looking at these speeds, in both cases, there's a dramatic increase in speeds. The Orbi is doing better in the single router configuration, but they're both doing fairly well. Now jumping to wired backhaul, that's when we take a second node in either case, whether with the Orbi or with the Eero, but essentially you run an ethernet from the secondary one to the primary one that's hooked up to the server, and I do the test from the secondary one, which again jumps to this guy, which then jumps to the server. Now in this case, you can see the Orbi is destroying it, in the Wi-Fi 6E category, and that's because the Orbi has two very fast ports. It has that 10 gigabit, and it has an additional 2.5 gigabit that's dedicated for the wired backhaul. Whereas with the Eero, you don't have that. You have a gigabit port and a 2.5 gigabit. Now jumping to wireless backhaul, so what is that you ask? Well, it's the same exact thing as wired backhaul, except you remove the ethernet cable between them. This is what makes mesh systems so convenient because your main one is hooked up to your modem via ethernet and the secondary one is one or two rooms away, plugged into power, and this guy is wirelessly talking to the main one, expanding your Wi-Fi coverage. Now, typically tri-band systems do pretty well in wireless backhaul, but not in the case of the Eero Pro 6E. This one didn't do that great. Whereas on the Orbi, this thing did phenomenal, phenomenal. It, it is one of the best wireless backhaul speeds I've seen, period. Range test time. So range will vary based on location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of other wireless interference around, like a lot of other routers and a lot of other walls. So all of this stuff can hurt your range. Now these have both been tested in the same place with the same devices, so it's an apples to apples comparison. At 20 feet away inside my place, they both did very well. At 50 feet, this is outside my place, the Orbi's really starting to outshine. Now they both go all the way up to 320 feet, which is very impressive for both, especially in the case of the Eero. I was not expecting it to go that far. However, if you look at each of the individual speeds, in most of the cases, the Orbi was definitely doing better. Now in terms of setup and configuration and changing settings and stuff, Eero uses the Eero app, Orbi uses the Orbi app. In addition to the Orbi app, you can go to orbilogin.com on your browser and you can get access to way more settings to change way more stuff. So they're both pretty easy to set up. They're both pretty easy to use. They both have pretty good apps. In terms of apps, actually, I think Eero has a better app than the Orbi app. 
But in terms of settings and customizations, the Orbi wins hands down. Now, which one is worth getting and why? Well, honestly, it depends on your situation and how much money you want to spend because let's get the elephant out of the room. The Eero costs much less. Granted, you're getting much more with the Orbi. So I would say the Eero, a good scenario for this would be is if you have internet speeds of up to gigabit and you're planning on using wired backhaul and you want a simple, easy, just something that works setup. So the Eero would be a good fit for you. If you have internet speeds faster than gigabit, even though this can handle it up to a certain point, I would not get the Eero because you only have one fast port. So the secondary one won't be as fast. Number two, I would not get it if you're going to use wireless backhaul because this had okay at best wireless backhaul speeds. It was not that great. I was expecting it to be better. Now, if you want to tinker with settings, if you want crazy fast performance in wired or wireless backhaul speeds, if you have internet speeds of up to gigabit or even faster, then the Orbi is the way to go because you're getting much more performance out of this in terms of capabilities, I should say. But let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. And as always, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.